Hello there and welcome to Monday the 4th of June. I can't believe that we're already into the six month of the year, halfway through the year already. That's just incredible. I don't know if I've got everything done that I'm supposed to. I've managed to do some of it. I started this channel for example, but I'm going to do a review soon on goals that I made at the beginning of the year for a blog post and I'll review that on my blog. Forgive me, I'm very, very tired and my chest has actually been awful these last couple of days. It's been atrocious, so I'm going to keep this clip quite short. I went up to the house today and I did a little bit of work. I got my blog post done for today and I managed to get my YouTube description and title done today. They were my only jobs and they were the only jobs that I was doing today. I went to a meeting with my uncle today which proved to be of no use, but we weren't gonna find out until we actually did it, so it was worthwhile doing. We actually thought we'd be waiting for an extra 40 minutes, and we didn't, we only waited about five, so that was fantastic. Then came back, I finished doing the work that I needed to do, and then I watched the end of Supernatural. Did I watch? Yeah, I did. I watched the end of Supernatural, and I started watching the second series of Humans. I saw the first series about two years ago I think and it really intrigued me so I'm now watching the second one on box set the box set for it on channel 4 OD or whatever it's called and then I had to take magic to the vets she is a bit overweight bless her so we're gonna have to do some more exercise with her which is you know just the way it is and the vet bless him he's so kind he's just like you know We've my previous dog was incredibly overweight, but he had allergies, and they put him on steroids to control the allergies, which of course made him balloon up. And they were always past past vets were always saying to us, "Well, he should be losing weight. You should make him lose weight." It's like he's on steroids. What chance do we have? So you know, it's easier with her. So we'll just take her for longer walks, which we're trying to do anyway. Play ball with her. I mean, the more walks she gets, the more exercise me and my mum get, which isn't a bad thing. You know, it will do only do us good. So that's fantastic, and her vaccinations are up, and that's fine. Sorry, they're up to date now. We couldn't do them when they needed doing because my mum had her hip operation, so getting there was difficult. But that is another job ticked off the list. So that is all I've done today. I'm sorry that it's incredibly boring. I just... I have been awful and I'm still awful now, I can feel it hurting but I'm not going to dwell on it so I'm going to go and get an early night I think after I spend some time with the family and then go and wake up bright and early because I need to do a, another thing with my uncle tomorrow morning so yeah I will see you tomorrow. Hello there and welcome to Tuesday the 5th of June, how are we doing? I know this date really well because it's my uncle's birthday today. We didn't actually do a lot. We, well, all I did today was go up to the house. We had a walker being delivered and a perching stool for my uncle today. But there was a mix up. So we got the perching stool. We got a shower rail to hold on to, for him to hold on to, to steady himself. But we don't need that because we're trying something else instead. And... We didn't get the walker to help if I was in middle of frame. So that's not gone great, but the perching stool is really good. It's excellent. I'm going to keep these clips quite short because my chest is still really bad, guys. I don't know what I've done. It's ridiculous. It's stopping me from doing what I want to do, which is all the cooking I need to do and get them done. But hey ho, there's not there's plenty of other jobs I need to get on I can get on with, I can assure you. I did I've written all of the In The Kitchen blog posts to get me up to the 11th of July, so I'm really far ahead with them. And I wrote one that is actually for the 8th of August, so in between them <laughs> I've got to do, but I needed to do that one because that was a chocolate chip banana loaf bread, a banana chocolate chip loaf cake thing, and I had very very ripe bananas so I thought just get on with it, just use that just do it early and it was done. It was one of the ones I needed to do anyway, so it was completely beneficial to get on with it. So I wrote all of them. I got the pictures emailed, I got the blog posts emailed, I got them all scheduled. And then I watched Humans, the second series of Humans. I've started watching that, as I said yesterday, I think. So tomorrow I don't actually have to get up really early like I have had to do for the last couple of days. So that's really good. 
I am now going to go and spend some time with my uncle. We got him Darkest Hour for his birthday and we got him bottles of wine and we got him sweets and we got him a voucher for the place where we go to dinner every, well, most Fridays, which he wasn't expecting and he seems really happy with it. I don't know if you guys find this, but men are particularly hard to buy for. So the fact that we even got one thing that was possibly right when he didn't ask for anything is perfect. We are happy with any of the results we get. So that's fantastic. It seems like he's had a really good birthday. So I'm glad. I'm really glad for him that he's had that. There's been no problems today, which is excellent as well. And I believe my other uncle, my uncle who I live with's brother is coming over now to go and see him. So I am... Um, wait for the train I am just going to go up to the house spend some time with them before going to bed where's the bell gone there I've got a little bell on the view by the viewfinder and it went missing so I'm gonna go spend some time up with them before going to bed which I think I need because of my chest but I'm not gonna dwell on it so tomorrow is mainly work on the shop and do some backlog jobs that I need to do so I will see you tomorrow Hello there and welcome to Wednesday the 6th of June. How are we doing? Today I am still suffering with my chest so I've not done a great deal. I had a meeting with my uncle which is then being continued on the 29th. I did some more of my shop blog posts. I managed to email all the pictures that I have on my desktop over to my work email so I've got the pictures for the blog posts if I ever need them again. And I managed to put all my in the style pictures as the featured pictures on the blog post so you'll see it next to the name of the blog post. I have also been speaking to my mum and we thinking of check and we've been thinking of changing things around a little bit. So I'm gonna do some research on blog blogs that I like and blogs that are doing well, why they're doing well. Because a lot of people who are going to my blog turn away before they even look at the content. And I think that's because of the way, sorry, I thought that was something there. I think that's because of the way the writing looks at the beginning, because it's very much like a, like childy, should I say. But that's because it's the only place I can be a child. I have to be grown up every day, and I just want this place, my work, to be the place where I don't have to be an adult where I don't have to make sense, where I don't have to form sentences correctly. I hardly speak English, just alone cor write it correctly, you know, to, to just be silly, stupid, daft, don't care what, what other people think. But why, why should I worry about what other people's judgments on something that I love doing? So I'm thinking of switching things around but not getting rid of the child element because I want to keep that, you know, that's something dear to me so I'm not getting rid of that I just don't quite know how I'm gonna do it I may do like childy simple pictures and things like that when you click on things and things like that just to keep it a bit of me because the other thing is that I can't actually afford I can't afford my website to be designed but I had a look and I've got Adobe as you well know to be able to edit these videos and I have a I have it so that I can download all of the apps if I want to and I could download Adobe Dreamweaver which allows me to design a website and I had a look online to see if I could import Miss Poppy to see if I could import that onto my WordPress website which is of course the whole point at the end of the day and I can so that's really good so I'm looking into doing that once I get a few more blog posts under my belt, I mean yesterday I managed to get my blog posts done all the way through to the 11th of July, but it doesn't mean that the other blog posts don't need doing, so I need to get ahead on them, and when I've done that, I want to try and do that, try and redesign my website. The other thing is that I'm thinking of upping my blog post amounts to five, five times a week, five days a week, to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and doing it that way so Monday would be style, Tuesday would be cooking, Wednesday would be baking, Thursday would be thinks and Friday would be film review or something like that or Thursday would just be whatever I want it to be you know so I'm creating more content which is fine I just need to allow the time for it I don't mind if I have these deadlines because I hardly touch wood I hardly ever miss a deadline but 
I need to know if I'm going to do that because then I need to get very, very far in advance. You guys know how unpredictable my days are. I mean, I had a meeting with my uncle and my cousin came over, so I then looked after the two little ones while she did things. And it's, I can never ever plan my life really. So doing, trying to get ahead is such a major advantage. And anyone thinking of doing this, regardless of if your life is chaotic or not, or not, get ahead, do as much as you can before the deadline, before the date, before anything, get as much work done as you can because it's just such an advantage to you. You then don't have to worry about it, you don't have to look at it again until the day, the day before, unless you have to. I mean, when my stuff's up, I don't have to look at it again, I just know it's going to happen, it's going to roll, and it's going to do it, you know? So, I would seriously recommend anyone who has deadlines as a job, try and get them done as quickly as you can and before you can because it will just make life easier for you. So I did that today. I also continued watching Humans. My mum came home without calling me, so it was a really nice surprise. I took the dogs out with her, and then I came back and basically chilled. I just don't want to work with my chest being so poorly. I just don't want to work, which is a horrible feeling, because I love my work. I love doing what I do, and it's really putting me off because I can't even walk guys you know it's ridiculous anyway I did well with my blog which I wasn't expecting to do so I have done that today I looked after the little ones as I said I helped my uncle with a meeting I did all my emailing of the pictures did the style blog post pictures did a lot of pinning <laughs> I did my oh I need to do that other Instagram post in a minute of my gluten-free yeast bread Instagram post and I am now going to go up to the house spend some time with my uncle and my mum before going to bed and I try not to take tablets tonight so doing well so I will see you tomorrow hello there and welcome to Thursday the 7th of June how are we doing today my chest has still not been good but it is getting there which is fantastic I can actually hold you without it hurting too much. I had a few appointments today. My um, No, I had one appointment today. My uncle had an appointment today and that went really, really well because he's now gaining weight when he was losing too much. He's now actually gained some, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know how he's managed to do it, but he has. And if we keep going at this stage, he'll be doing really well. I also have arranged, no, I also did loads of, <laughs> sorry. I also did my weekly vlog for last week. I've edited the, I've done the first draft and the second draft of that. I need to watch it again tomorrow morning. And I have done a few more of the products at the bottom of my in the kitchen blog posts. I also spent about half an hour to an, yeah, about half an hour with mum working out Harry Potter because Harry Potter days I think July the thirty first because that's his birthday. Well, that was his birthday in the books. No, is. He's a real person. I don't care what you say. <laughs> so I've tried to start working that lot out because, as I said to you, I'm thinking from the 1st of July of doing five blog posts a week to get more things up there, to get more content up there and just to, you know, life's hectic enough it is, as it is. Why not throw some more work in there? Why not? You know, why not just make life extremely challenging, you know, because that's what life's for, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> so I have planned to do that because obviously actually if you may or may not know 1st of July is the second anniversary of me owning my blog and running my blog and doing my blog technically I had it for months before that but I actually started uploading from the 1st of July so that's really interesting that's really cool I can't I actually can't wait to start doing the five I think it's going to be really good for me and I think it's just going to make life so much more interesting and fun because it will mean that I have to sit down and brainstorm and come up with ideas which I don't actually do at the moment I don't get a lot of time which is contradictory considering I am now going to up my work schedule plus I'm going to start filming my videos which will mean three videos a week plus five blog posts a week so I'm going to be a very busy girl which I actually just can't wait to do you know you'd think that I'm mad because life's so hectic with everything that's going on around me at home and then to add even more to my schedule 
but I'm actually really excited about it. And you can see from my smile, it's actually genuine. I'm really, really happy to be doing it and really excited to actually start doing these things. And that's why I watch so many vlogs and videos is because it inspires me to do that. It inspires me to get into doing the things that I love. You know, I love just sitting and, well, I'm actually standing, but sit, standing and talking to a camera, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do. Bearing... She's pushed the door open. Bearing in mind that I couldn't even have my picture taken three, three, four years ago. You know, it's, it's huge and it's amazing and I love every minute of it. I love talking to you guys and expressing how I'm feeling and creating content that someone enjoys, you know, because now I'm going to do the baking videos for Gluten Free, which I think will gain a lot of people. I want to try and then start going on to doing what Rose Anna Panzino does and doing some of her recipes. Hello. Hello. And I want to start doing gaming videos. I want to do just talking about my style in general. As you know, I do it on my blog, but I can actually show you my wardrobe in a video and talk about it. And I just, I, I genuinely can't wait to do all these things and make life more fun and interesting and difficult and challenge. No, not difficult, challenging and do things that I didn't think I could do you know and it's going to be one hell of a ride but it's going to be the rest of my life so I might as well start now and start enjoying it so I as I said did the meeting blog posts and I did the door for the dog because you know that's what you do when you grow up and get a dog and oh I'm sorry I just shut her in the door oh, yeah so, as you track back, I did the meeting today, I did the blog posts today, and I did the weekly vlog today. I then watched Humans, an episode or two of Humans, and I did the second draft of the weekly vlog. Afterwards, then we watched Young Sheldon. I'm now going to go up to the house and spend some time with my mum and my uncle before going to bed, as, as my grandmother has gone to my cousin's house. So, I will see you too. Tomorrow. Hello there and welcome to Friday the 8th of June. How are we doing? It's really early in the morning but I thought I'd finish the vlog here because not much is going to be happening today. Although this morning we had a bit of a mare. Me and mum went shopping around Sainsbury's a while ago and I saw that at the pharmacy section they had these home cholesterol level tests. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea, I'll give that a go, because my mum has quite high cholesterol. And I just, it's an easy way to keep an eye on it at home. So, tried to do it, and for the love nor money, could we get the prick things? You have to prick a finger to then do a blood sample, and then you test the colours against the colour chart. Love nor money, would it work? I do not understand what, what, you know, the, the pricker thingy so it took us ages thankfully i had an extra test that i did i actually did a celiac test as well it's luckily i don't have touch wood <laughs> so i managed to prick my finger on that and do both tests from the same bit because obviously blood's blood you know so that was fine but mum couldn't get hers to do it so she spent ages bless her pricking her finger with a pin like a, a clothing pin and it took ages eventually she got it but that was just one massive fiasco it just went I, d I don't know how it went so wrong but it did you know that's just the way it went so today all I'm going to be doing is basically chilling I'm going to go and watch humans and I'm going to go and watch supernatural then go out to dinner with my mum my uncle and my grandmother come back walk the dogs and then chill again before going to bed. So, I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> so, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog this week. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see me do on this channel. Also, let me know how your week was. So, I will see you next week. Bye.